Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video this evening. I trust and hope that you're doing really great. And so we're seeing this satellite imagery here, and there is quite a bit going on. And uh, there is still that flood threat, that tropical storm running in effect for parts of the Dominican Republic, as well as the Turks and Caicos Islands, as uh, Franklin is making its way through. And it is poised to strengthen into a hurricane, as we're going to be heading into this weekend and going into uh, the early part of next week. Additionally, I want to take you guys to that potential system that Gulf system uh, that most models are now expecting but before I go into details please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that, so that you never miss an important video now as we return to this here we can see that there is as I said there's quite a bit going on a couple of systems out there so as we look at the latest coming from NHG here we can see Franklin making its way out of the Caribbean there we have 92L the formation chance continues to decrease and I'm really not expecting much from it but we'll see how it holds out for the next couple of days and then the remnants of Emily high chance to develop out there 70% chance that we could see redevelopment over to the far left of your screen you can see a part of the name Harold uh, so Harold is currently a, a post trial tropical cyclone over western Texas and is expected to dissipate very very soon but now zooming into the Caribbean and here we can see uh, Franklin right there it is having some good outflow and it is going to be in more conducive conditions hence that uh, strengthening that is expected still producing some periods of heavy rainfall over parts of uh, the Dominican Republic some of that even making its way into Puerto Rico maybe even the Virgin Islands have faced uh, maybe just some intermittent showers nothing crazy today there's also a lot of thunderstorms over in parts of Central America and also for Cuba and if you look closely you can see some circulation going on that counterclockwise or anti-clockwise spin so that is an upper level low near the Cayman Islands as well going up to the Bahamas though nothing crazy happening similar story as we head to the ABC Islands and going to the Lesser Antilles nothing crazy going on and you guys might notice those uh, feathery clouds way up in the atmosphere those are cirrus clouds coming from that outflow uh, of Franklin and then in parts of Jamaica there has been some thunderstorm activity developing this afternoon now going on to the latest coming from the NHC uh, the cone forecast for Franklin here we can see that the tropical storm warning which is in blue that is still in effect for most of the Dominican Republic. It will eventually be discontinued and as we head into tomorrow conditions should improve. However, for the Turks and Caicos Islands, there is a pretty good chance that those tropical storm force winds will be felt, even periods of heavy rainfall which could trigger flooding. So beware of that, guys, and please be safe. And uh, if you're in the Dominican Republic, you can let me know in the comments what has happened for you. Has there been any major flooding for you? Uh, what is going on there? Let me know in the comments what your experience is. Uh, for Puerto Rico, though, there might be some additional rainfall from uh, coming from the system but nothing too crazy expected and eventually franklin will be moving to the east northeast before making a turn up to the north and moving on a north northwest road track uh expected to make its way to the west of bermuda but if it is close enough in proximity where that tropical storm wind, uh, wind field is actually going to be reaching the island then a tropical storm watch could be issued possibly even upgraded to a warning but by monday the cyclone is likely to become well by this weekend the cyclone is likely to become a hurricane maybe a category two as we head into monday and so guys in terms of seeing potential development so as i said there is quite a bit of activity going on in the eastern pacific and that is kind of the foundation here for us to possibly have our next name cyclone which is an i name idalia uh potentially developing in the caribbean the western caribbean making its way into the gulf and maybe becoming a major hurricane models have been consistent about seeing something develop there let's head on to what they have to show and we are beginning with icon so this is as we head into Monday of next week, Monday the 28th of the month. That is Franklin, by the way. So uh, some intensification going on there. 92 L out there, another tropical wave uh, moving off of Africa and maybe trying to get itself together. But take a look at the Northwestern Caribbean. We see that low pressure area developing and that is likely going to be making its way into the Gulf and getting itself together. And then uh, as we head to the end of the run here, we can see that uh, we have this system uh, intensifying as it makes its way into the vicinity of Cuba, eventually headed toward Florida. Icon has been consistent about this development and under conducive conditions there is no there's nothing else to do rather than intensify let's go on to euro and we can see here that euro is also expecting that low pressure area to develop as we head into the end of this week as of now the national hurricane center has not marked an area but i'm uh, i'm expecting it to do so sooner or later we will see somewhere being marked in the caribbean to watch eventually as we head out to go into monday we see that that low pressure area strengthened the more of those circular black lines we see which are called isobar 
bars, the more strengthening there is. Uh, Franklin also getting itself together up there. And eventually, Euro wants to show this making landfall along the big bend of Florida, potentially as a major hurricane. Very interesting here. There's that next system uh, expected off Africa that could rapidly develop. As we head to GFS, GFS was not expecting anything at all. But now the model is kind of showing that we could be seeing something. So signs are pointing toward uh, seeing something there as we head to Tuesday of next week. Well, it is not showing a defined system. There is all of that increase in activity that is expected across the Northwestern Caribbean islands. There we have Franklin up there. And the Canadian model has been doing a wonderful job as of late. So it has been very consistent. Even with our previous cyclones, it has been very consistent, even more consistent than models such as GFS and at times the Euro. So the Canadian has been doing a remarkable job so far and it hasn't been backing off from this Gulf system developing. So again, here we have some model consensus. Here we have that agreement that, hey, we're going to be seeing something develop as we head into next week. So if you're in the Northwest Caribbean, even over into Central America, there could be a lot more heavy rainfall. So flooding is going to be possible. I'm going to go into uh, a lot more details as we head into tomorrow's updates video in regards to the rainfall expected for the day. And then if you're along the Gulf Coast, guys, please ensure that you have your plans in place. I'm not saying there will be a major hurricane making landfall. And I'm not saying that we will in fact see something develop next week. However, when we're seeing models trending toward that happening, that is when we want to really pay keen attention to it because then it becomes likely. And then as we look to conditions, the sea surface temperatures are off the charts. Very, very warm in the Gulf of Mexico to support development. And then in terms of the dry air map, we're not really seeing much dry air there right now. So uh, if the wind shear is also conducive, as I said, this can do nothing but intensify. And once it enters the Gulf, someone will be getting hit. As of now, models are trending toward Florida. And that would be an unfortunate case, especially if we should actually have a major hurricane or even a weak hurricane, because there was Ian last year, which caused absolute devastation in some areas. And uh, to go through another hurricane, especially with the I letter. So many of us uh, have been talking about that trend of those I name storms uh, being a uh, major hurricanes out there and so that is pretty interesting to me and speaking based on scientifics here uh, it's just where the letter falls in the uh, in the alphabet and uh, when things typically get active based on the average amount of storms that we see each month so we would usually find that heading to late august and september going from around i uh, maybe down to the letter m storms actually begin with those letters and then september is the peak august late august going to september even through early october is the peak of the season so it's likely that we're going to be seeing storms of those letters becoming major hurricanes and we see i a lot matter of fact i think it is the letter i those i name storms in the past that have the most retirement so let us see if we're gonna have idalia being added to that list because obviously if this becomes a major hurricane in the gulf somebody will get hit and those impacts are not going to be pretty so it's likely that uh we would have retirement in that case and i'm just really hoping that if there should be anything major everyone is prepared Prepared. And that is why I post these updates twice a day, breaking down what models are expecting so that you guys can stay safe. And so stick with me and we're going to get through this season together. The rest of the season, it is getting pretty active out there and there is a lot more to come. So that is it for this update. Stay tuned for my next update tomorrow morning. And I hope you found this one to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you once I get the chance. And as always, remember to be otherwise.